Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss that how you can update the existing property of a test object. So in this case, you can only update the property or the attribute which is present inside the test object. Assume that XPath is not here and still you are trying to update the XPath property. In that case, there will be an error. So here I'm going to add one more test case called update property. So the initial two step remains same. Open the browser and navigate to the Bugzilla application. So just like we have a keyword for removing object property, similarly we have a keyword for modifying object property. Specify your test object, so which is our quick search text box. And these are the input. So you need to specify the property name, which is attribute name, which is ID in our case. Then matching condition, so equals. and the new value so in this case what i'm going to do first of all before modification i will perform the send keys action on this quick search tag box then after the modification i will specify the value of id locator of this top search top text box so and then i will perform the send keys action on that new test object so this is the test object id and I, I want to make it as active so true so let me create a variable called new underscore object which is of type test object and use that variable here as an output now after that i will use these send keys on quick search text box and let's say before update again send keys action on new test object and this will be after update then we will close the browser so here I'm only updating and removing the single property, but if you want, you can do it for the multiple properties also. So I will switch to the script mode. And here I will just put a breakpoint so that you can see this execution of the script. So run this script in a debug mode inside the Chrome browser. So it has hit the debug point. So step over, send keys. So as you can see here, it has performed the send keys action on the quick search text box, which is coming from the object repository. And after that, we have modified the ID of this to point to this text box. So again, step over and you can see here after update. You can also see this thing from the console also. So initially it used the IDS quick search main and then it used the IDS quick search top. Also here you can use the condition type variable. So I will use condition condition type dot equals okay but the argument to this method is a string so we cannot pass the enum so condition type is any enum we need to convert it to a string so there is a method called to string which will convert it to a string version 
switch back to the manual mode so this is how the argument to the modify object property method will looks the name of the attribute matching condition then you have a new value and the value for the is active which is a boolean variable now i'm going to run this script okay let me add a delay here so you can see the script execution So you can see the value so in this manner you can modify the property of a test object or in other words you can modify the locator of web element during runtime that's all for this video and thanks for watching